It certainly raised a few people's eyebrows when we first bought this. I'm Paul and uh, we're here at Judge Creek in uh, West Otago. This is a, a sheep, beef and forestry operation. I'm an engineer, I used to build uh, racing cars back in the UK and I came here farming um, oh, 21 years ago. Yeah, another, another 30 years I'll be a local. Why did we get an EV? Well, um, looking at the figures as an engineer, it just made perfect sense. This was meant to be a fuel saving thing and it had an A to B route, but it's since then, this gets used for everything. I think it cost me about 30 cents to fill this and I can burn $40 of petrol on a four wheel around here in a day. Ironically, it goes and fills up the jerry cans for when we do need a four wheeler. I bought this from direct from Japan for about uh, $26,000 plus GST. This has cost me nothing. It's never had a service. All I've ever done is change tires and fill the washer bottle, and that's it. We had a, a Toyota Land Cruiser before this, and this saved me on 30,000 kilometers, which was what we did in the year. It saved me $9,000. So just coming up to five years later, and uh, 120,000 Ks, you know, simple maths. This thing's more than paid for itself. What have I done with the savings? <laughs> Probably coffee and beer. <laughs> I, I think inevitably um, we're going to go down this road. For all the people that say the batteries don't last, well, you know, how, how much do you spend on internal combustion engines when head gaskets break and oil changes and uh, all the other consumables? I haven't even worn a set of brake pads out on this because it has regenerative braking. So when you lift off the throttle, uh, it's charging the battery. Although it's only a, f a small family hatchback, the driving delivery of power is completely different to an internal combustion engine. There's no gears. It's always at maximum torque. So when you drive, I can drive this like I stole it, and it, it's almost like a go kart. You can drive it so hard and fast, and uh, you're never in the wrong gear. There's no clutch. You just have to drive it with uh, two feet, one brake, and one go pedal. It's a toy car. I think the end goal would have to be not to have to rely at all on fossil fuel, which, you know, we're not there with tractors, but uh, one small step for mankind, I suppose. We've got cars, bicycles, you know, ability to generate, solar. I think uh, t we'll look back on this and think, um, you know, we wasted a lot of time arguing over whether these things were viable when you know, they're overwhelmingly viable.